This is a bird gun, and it's a circuit board. Uh, and you touch the top of the circuit board, and it shorts across to make the switch work. Um, our gun has a tactile feel to it, and when you push it, you feel a uh, response. Um, sort of the difference between a wall switch that clicks on and off and one that goes up and down, but you don't feel or, or hear anything. Uh, this, we, were, we, were, we had to do this in Atlantic City because they were getting corporal tunnel complaints from bartenders at service bars that were standing there for an eight-hour shift. And they'd, they'd stand there and they'd never put the gun down. And they're like that all day long. So we were getting complaints about uh, this type of a uh, switch pack. And that's, we redesigned and went to the uh, tactile. Because um, so, there's a slight delay on any liquor gun, and, and especially the bird gun. So the guy's pushing, pushing, and then pretty soon, it, it's not because he didn't hit the switch. It's because it takes all that time for the response to go back to the uh, liquor room, and then finally he gets flow out of the, out of the system. So um, this gun is, is uh, kind of new for us. We're offering uh, gold, uh, chrome, and our regular gun. Uh, just a little bit more, it's like having more than one color on a car. You know, you, maybe somebody has uh, brass deer towers in his barn. He's got the whole bar laid out with brass, or maybe maybe it's all, it's all chrome. You can match it with these guns. Towers are important, I feel. This is something our competitors do not have. The pictures on the back of this brochure show a girl at uh, Charlestown Races which is a racino, uh, they're becoming popular around the country, where they take a racetrack, which has all kinds of space around it, and is generally barely making it, and they put a casino in the middle of it, and now you've got live races. We're, we're working on two more besides the one we did, which is a Penn Gaming uh, racetrack in Charlestown, West Virginia. And it's, that's just outside of Washington, D.C. It's about a 50-mile drive, and you're there. And they've just been going absolutely crazy with, with business. They'll do 120 cases of beer on a weekend. It's just it's really amazing. And we went in there with a couple cocktail stations, and now we've got 13. And they've got 13 fewer bartenders uh, on those weekends. And this, this what, it, what happens is the servers are getting their own their own drinks. Uh, the girls love it because they're not sharing tips with the bartender. Management likes it because there's 13 guys that come in there and screw around anyway, and, and they don't have to have them on the premise. And it's a great concept. It, it's amazing what it does. It just it, What it basically does is eliminate a salary when that's there. And, uh, and it pays for itself just with the bartender that's not there.